sunglasses inside. Future's too bright. So bright out there. <laughs> Some chargers for your phones as well. Okay. Well, Cheers, babe. <laughs> so now. Wow. Oh Welcome, yeah, Dreams. Great, thank you so much. At all? Yeah. Uh, but this is what happens. And it just started this morning. <laughs> we had to cancel. We made it. So we're in a holding room right now. This is like a temporary room because our room is not yet ready. Um, we got here at like 10.30 a.m. So <laughs> they were like, please hold. Um, but we are gonna, we're gonna be freaks and go get a workout in first thing on our honeymoon. We just woke up at like 4.30 and got off the plane. So I think it'll feel good to sweat and get ready for the pool. Like the second we get back from our workout, swimsuit on, pool. And we're both gonna be wearing red swimsuits. So we're gonna match. Ross is giving me the, <laughs> ready to go? <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Taking in the view. I just want to like get to our room. We just finished our workout yeah, and now. We're gonna be up like on one of those like we have like. A I rooftop. think it's farther. No, it's like closer. I think to the to the beach. Yeah. yeah. But we're gonna have like a roof, a private rooftop. Right now. We are. Got my little straw bag from Amazon. And I got some new key sunglasses too, that are like fun and square. And new Monday swim, swimsuit for this trip. First meal, obviously tacos, but with a side of truffle fries. And this is our view. We're convinced that we're in the show White Lotus. This resort is giving, well, Ross has seen this show. I haven't. It just feels like everyone, like, it feels like we're in a simulation is the best way I can personally describe it. Like, everything's kind of, like, perfect. Like, you literally don't open one door yourself. Like, someone just pops out and is, like, opens the door for you. Everyone here is so friendly, like. I had one drink. And I'm turned. So this is like the plaza that we're having a romantic dinner on, on Saturday night. So like this is where they set up the table. It's gonna be insanity. Stay tuned for how that looks at night. I think it's going to be beautiful.
there's a cold plunge right here and a hot tub, so I'm gonna do some contrast in here. It's a beautiful jungly vibe. Oh my gosh. I just had, I think, maybe top two best massages of my life. And Ross said he had the best massage of his life, so that went well. I think it's gonna be sunset soon. Um, and we're just going to dinner tonight. It's a restaurant, they have like five restaurants at this hotel. So it's a restaurant called Arbol, I think. And yeah, just on cloud nine, feeling those like day one good vibes on top of the world. Still have our entire vacation ahead of us. So just having an absolute blast. All right, time for the cold plunge. Oh God, oh my gosh. Whew. This is like ice cold. Okay, that's enough. Look at this turn down service in our room. There's candles everywhere. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at this fruit plate. Ooh. Wow. We think the breakfast is complimentary. We were joking we're gonna get a fat bill after this. <laughs> or a farm French routine. Perfect, baby. Look at this French toast. I can really see it. Oh, you see that? Zero. Zero, zero, zero.
cooking class and we're really full. They gave us these cute little recipe books so that we can make all these recipes on our own. We made pico, guacamole. <laughs> I spy y'all. Pico, guacamole, uh, salsa, and then we had fish tacos and they gave us key lime pie at the end. It was so freaking good. But now we're beat. We are so tired. We're like, okay, time for the pool. We're gonna lay down and just chill. The man can't speak. <laughs> Here's our pool set up for the day. Feels like we're on the edge of the world. Post cooking class, just straight chilling. Chilling. About to finally crack the book open. I got a book called Meant to Be. Meant to Be by Emily Giffen and Jackie O from The Toast recommended this as an easy bee treat recently. So sign me up. You guys, there's a new dessert in this little gold box. It's like a magic box that changes out every day. I just tried it and it's a Dutch apple crisp something or other pie. So we asked for room service to drop off our dinner at the rooftop and we thought they were just gonna like drop it off. Also, stunning night. And instead they set up an entire table and chairs for us to have dinner literally on the water in our room. Success, but we can't get Hulu to work. I don't think it works in Mexico for some reason, and we really want to watch Love Island. Oh no. Hey, buddy, what's his name? Uh, Moana. Moana? Moana. Hi, Moana. Moana. Hi, Moana. He has that girl's name, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't care. care. Hi. So um, I feel like Is this papaya? I haven't seen this before. Brown's coming at me? Yes, it's coming. Okay, cool. Thank you. Oh wow. My Oh, that avocado toast. Oh I haven't had poached eggs in so long. I love <laughs> poached eggs. This quiche looks so legit. It's bow time. Let's go. Let's get it.
van and I got a little Diet Coke. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. So fun fact, the Sea of Cortez, which is what we were just swimming around in, is the second saltiest body of water behind the Dead Sea. Behind the Dead Sea. And you could tell because we it were swimming so around. It was salty. It was so easy to swim and so easy to float because you were so buoyant like with all the salt. It was really nice. Yeah, it was wild. It was like I was trying to dive for like this bottle cap that Daniel kept throwing and it was kind of hard to like get down like, oh, really? you know, dive because like I feel like the, the water just wanted to keep pushing you up. But it was fun. Yeah. Anyway, success. Very and we have a fun dinner tonight. Yeah. I'm really excited about. Okay, another day, another dessert oh. in, the, in the magic box. I don't know what these are today. They look like some sort of fruit one. Oh. <laughs> mm. Citrus or fruit? Look at, you got some color, boy. Did I? Oh my God. In a good way? Yeah, really, look at you. Kind of tan. Look at you. Well, you look a tad red. Let's that's be gonna, honest. That's gonna happen. You look a tad red. Ooh. Ooh. You like what you see? <laughs> oh, yeah, I like it. Wow. Hello. Um. Happy Saturday night. I've got my ears in because I'm about to do some light makeup. The humidity is like, it's not, honestly, it's not horrible. So it's gonna be a dewy look tonight for sure. This is the bougiest thing I've ever said, but like it literally, the waves might be too loud to vlog out here. Let me just show you guys my view. Here's my makeup mirror <laughs> with my makeup bag behind it. Just, I am so lucky right now to be here. Oh, had some horses trotting. Long story short, we are having like a very special dinner tonight. We decided to do one like really fancy dinner on our honeymoon. And I guess the resort does this thing where they set up like a whole thing. So I'm really, really excited for tonight. I think it's gonna be like low key at once in a lifetime type dinner set up. So um, I'm gonna try and vlog it, but right now I'm just kind of like chilling, getting ready. final look. I just need to add some lip gloss and I will be ready for dinner. Um, I need to steam my dress and get my outfit on and then we'll head out. Headed to dinner. I loved the cooking class. That was class. super fun. Like, that was fun. It was just blew my expectations out of the water. I agree. Like, I thought we were just gonna go and it was kind of All right. Ooh, hit me with a wedge, baby. Wow, we got empanadas Cheers. and potato wedges. It's literally so beautiful. Wow. This vlog you're gonna make is gonna make, <laughs> make us cry. <laughs> it's gonna be like. You gonna try it out? Oh, it's a little chilled. Oh, 
good. Sparkler. <laughs> wow. Goodbye, table. Mm. Night, moon. night, moon. Good night. <laughs> Morning. Starting golf day off on the right foot. Golf day, we gotta fuel up. <laughs> good. It's golf day. Golf day, baby, come on. Not today. Look at this fit. Not today. We got our matching shoes on. See the practice swing. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, looking nice. Yeah. I'm looking to break my PR today. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully the course is forgiving. Ooh, look at these views. Look at the our sweat. Let's go. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> so humid. I had to buy a new tank top because they're strict here about colors. I know. Pan to these drives though from you and then from <laughs> All right, we got, where are we at? Like, what's the yardage? Maybe 162. 162, and then Ross is right up there. All right, your girl just hit an eight iron. And my ball got on the green. Let's go. Woohoo! Yes, sir. Ooh, that's looking nice. Balls on the green, baby. Look at this view. This might be nicer views than the Wailea course. Because we're just, we're saying we're just higher up. Yeah. Up here. This is beautiful. Danielle just had a sick <laughs> shot from the bunker and then made the putt for uh, par. Absolute class. Wow. Oh. Oh, babe, this might be one of those holes that you have an affinity for birdieing. Where am I at? Oh, I'm up there, I think. Up that little path? Yeah. Yeah. Ross is playing the tips, as they say. It's a good challenge. I'm still sweating majorly. There are some really nice houses on this golf course. I need to, I need to hit up Zillow. When we get home, that's one of my favorite pastimes is looking up houses that are just about $20 million out of our price range. Huh. All right, 154, what club you got? I'm hitting uh, eight iron. I feel like this is gonna be a damn golf channel after today. All right, 154, eight iron. Good strike. Oh my God. All right. What? On the flipping green, sir. Woo. Absolutely sickening hole. There you go. Come on. Play. Right on that green right there. Those are two balls. That Beautiful. Oh my God. Absolute bomb. <laughs> Oh my god. Every hole is like beautiful. Ooh. Hey, there's an open lot right there. Should we uh wow. should we claim stake on that thing? I mean it's a beautiful piece of land, but to be quite honest, that's in just line of fire. that's in the line of like draw city. Not even draw, like pull city. Curl. Oh, Oh, that'll be kick right. Yes, that's totally fine. Wow. Good job. How'd you feel about that drive? Oh, good about it. Yeah. Got a little bit of the elbow of the club, yeah. but I'm happy with it. Happy yeah. with the contact. 
Yes. Oh, nice bounce. Wow, look at us. <laughs> oh, it's still coming back. We got some birdie opportunities. You joshing me, bro. That was a nice bounce. Let's go. <laughs> Couple birdie ops. Largest iguanas I've ever seen in my life. There's four all in a row by the green. It's kind of coming at us. Look, look, look at them. Oh my god. Look at them. Oh my god. Bro, they're so creepy. Oh my god, they're so creepy, babe. Let's go. Why is it like coming at us? Babe, let's go. Stop asking questions. It was funny till it wasn't. <laughs> We got some sustenance at hole like five, I think. I literally can't go back to playing golf in America. Look at Ross got sliders. The clock and some wow. Feet go on them. Oh my God, dead straight. Wee. Okay, I need to follow that now. Look at my hair. Here? Look at my hair. My shirt is wet. He survived golf. <laughs> you want some Diet Coke? Hmm? Oh my god, shit, that's fresh. Wow. All right, new into the secret box. This one looks the most promising because it looks like chocolate. How is it? <laughs> I feel like you taste these desserts and you like can't tell what the flavor is. I can't tell what that flavor like is. Like that, that one that looked like citrus yesterday, you're like, I don't know. Okay, okay. And so I, you try and tell me what this is. Hmm. It tastes kind of pumpkin-y. That's kind of what I thought initially. Swerve, I thought that was chocolate. We are so tired from golf. It was kind of wiped out from being in the sun. So, I think we are just gonna do room service tonight, room service dinner, chill. We're both really into our books right now. Um, so that's gonna be fun. But I think we'll just do room service like right out here. Dinner is served. This pokey taco is so good. Look how low the moon is right now. Wanna read up here for a little bit? We can, yeah. Final day of honeymoon is upon us. Final full day. Yeah, final full day. We have tomorrow. We have like a morning at least. But final full day. We're headed to the gym right now. And I'm really excited because we don't have any plans today. Hi. We're literally going to go work out. And we're going to go get our free breakfast that we always go absolutely ham on. So <laughs> and then I think we're just going to chill at the pool actually they have a lazy river here that we have yet to a explore and a taqueria in the back of the resort so we're definitely going to try that today and just see where the day takes us we're just living so spontaneously it's very nice for our last day to like do whatever we want and yeah. just kind of fly by the seat of our pants we had a slow morning so yeah but i feel like we planned this vacation for the perfect amount of days like we're both kind of getting ready to get back to our normal routine and normal life because we've done so much celebrating and relaxing here. And I just feel like we really did it right. What was it, five days? Five days, yep. Tomorrow will be like five and a half. Perfect amount of time. Um, but perfect amount of time. We'll be excited to get back to it um, instead of dreading it being over. So I feel like we just crushed that. Absolutely. Crushed it. Okay, we are back from the gym. My hair.
hair is so sweaty. Look at this. The, I will say like one of the positives of humidity is you do a, the simplest of workouts and you're sweating so hard. And like for me, that's a positive because I, it makes it feel like I'm really working hard. <laughs> so you always get like a really good detox here if you work out, even if it's not like a hard workout. I'm wearing the same swimsuit. Here, let me see if I can prop it up. I've worn this swimsuit like every day. I, I brought like five. I brought like five swimsuits, but I can't stop wearing this red one. It's from Monday Swimwear. Um, I have a couple of their suits and it is just like insane. I just love it so much. It's just so comfy and I keep going towards it and gravitating towards it. So I think I need it in like every color because it's just the best. We're about to have breakfast and Ross is like, I need to jump in real quick. <laughs> Free breakfast might be like the highlight of our day. <laughs> Look at these like breakfast enchiladas. Oh my God, they look so good. Ross got a breakfast burrito. This is the first time I've had enchiladas or burrito while we've been in Mexico and we've been here five days. Not really sure how that happened, but whatever, we're here. Fun fact, Ross and I found this Pacifico bottle cap. Literally feels like, I don't even know, treasure. But it's the simple things because we spent like 30 minutes yesterday on when we were on our boat tour and I would throw this in the water for him and he would dive for it like diving for rings. <laughs> it's a simple thing. So we took it with us as a little souvenir and maybe we'll throw it in the pool for you later. Pretty fun. <laughs> another day, another cold plunge. Here we go. We found the cool pool. We found the pool that's bopping. It's a lazy river and they play music. <laughs> Say less. Ross goes, you can hear the music underwater. <laughs> yeah. My chariot awaits. <laughs> Step on it, sir. Oh, I'm trying, my lord. Try my lord. My lady. Your chariot awaits. City. Check out this drink we got in this cute little fancy cup. It's got mezcal. Oh my god, that's so good. We did the Lazy River probably seven times in a row. <laughs> and there's this little girl next to us when we like floated by because I was in a floaty and Ross was pushing me. And she goes, is that an adult? <laughs> Why, yes it is. I don't know why we didn't find the kids' pool earlier. This is Ross's paradise. Lazy River, ice cream by the pool, tacos. He's a happy man. <laughs> All right, you're looking tan, babe. Really? Yeah. How is it? He's good. He's getting a still water. Buddy. Hey. Okay, we just spent like five hours at the Lazy River. The kid pool is where it's at for us. Like that is where we thrive. And now tonight we're just hanging. I think we're gonna go in the hot tub on our patio right now. And then we are going to hit the speak easy tonight. Um, I think there's some like performers, like dancers or something like that, or a magician or something. So that should be a really fun little like last, last night activity. Last night dinner up on our patio. We have some leftovers to eat from the pool today. 
trying to memorize this beautiful view. Okay, I read It's Meant to Be and finished that today. And then Ross was reading the last thing he told me and finished that today. So now I get to start it. So this is my second book of vacation. Freaking red alert, red alert. We've got a reader. We got a reader on our hands. You're going to like that book. Um, yeah, I'm excited to start it. Supposedly it's like mysterious and like thriller vibes, which I do really like in a book. So um, I'm excited to try it. We're waiting for the fireworks still. I know, I'm excited. Yeah, I hope they come soon. Whoever's on their date right now better push that button soon. Push that button. I think to Hawaii and to multiple other trips, but this is my Monday swimwear, um, little tie top with my Tahiti linen pants that I'm obsessed with. So comfortable. I'm going flip flops tonight because I just can't be bothered. It's our last night. I also did, you're not gonna really be able to tell in this light, but like such light makeup and just put a couple hoops in. Couldn't even be bothered to do mascara. Um, but yeah. We are gonna go catch some live music. We're such grandparents. We almost like <laughs> ditched the speakeasy. We've been talking about it all vacation, how we really wanna go, but it starts at like nine. And for us, that is like midnight. So we've been like, should we go, should we not? And we knew we should probably just give it a, give it a chance on our last night because we need to, I feel like speakeasies are so fun. There's like a secret code to get in. And, Have you been to one before? Yeah. Oh, this is Ross's first time at a speakeasy, so. So the people at Las Ventanas told us, hey, we have a surprise for you back at your room. We we're like, oh my gosh, okay. So we come back and they have gotten, let me turn the camera around. They framed this picture of us at our fancy dinner the other night in this beautiful like woven frame. It's like linen with little birds and flowers on it. So cute for us to take home. He had taken a picture of us and we didn't really know why. They literally printed this out and put it in a frame. They are, they go above and beyond around here. I feel like friggin' royalty. So amazing. They're so sweet. And here's another thing we get to bring home. Um, they gifted us this bottle of really fancy. This is like the, what's it called? Casa Azul, the one that usually has the bell on top, but it's like a mini version and it says Las Ventanas. So sweet. Okay, wait. So we have to push, we have to push a code on this. They told us it's number 20 earlier today. Day. It's 
very bittersweet. We're sad to be leaving, but excited to go home and um, see Henley and be back at home too. So look how blue the water is today. Huh? I want to try the amaranth pancakes, lemon curd, banana, organic almond butter, wild berries. Do it. Sounds healthy. Look at this fancy like cocktail coffee this morning. Wow, my latte is of the sand. Bye room. Bye room. We're out of here. Happy honeymoon to us. We're headed home now. Hope everyone enjoyed this vlog. I think I'm gonna wrap it. Wrap it I think up. I'm gonna wrap it here. Peace. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs> 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 <laughs>